20's getting a little a little dicey to tie a 20 in this. But I say I use it for an indicator, so a little bit bigger is fine. Use a size 16. So this is going to be a 14. I'm going to take it easy on you on this one. <laughs> so the body of this thing is going to be this uh, micro tubing. See that? And this is going to be olive. I use use brown, one of those I tied in brown. And it's a stretchy tubing. It's really really tough, pretty tough stuff. So I'm going to start my thread about the same place I did the other one. And this one, there's no tail. I'm just going to put this this antron in for the shot. What is a shuck? I'm not familiar with that. Shuck is when mayflies or even caddisflies, they've got like an exoskeleton. So when they hatch, they come out, gas bubbles build up underneath between the, the emerging fly and, and the old exoskeleton. And that's what they call a shuck. So as this thing comes out, the shuck is translucent because there's no longer a bug inside of it. Okay, yeah. So that's kind of what, see how this stuff's kind of shiny and the light kind of, kind of hits it. Okay, yeah. And it's like air bubbles or gas bubbles are trapped in there. That's what that's supposed to represent. Whether it does, who knows, you know. Who knows what fish actually see. Okay, so I'm going to bring my thread back up to about midway. I'm going to trim this off fairly short. Then we're going to take this tubing, and this is what's going to form the, the abdomen. Um, cut off about four inches of this stuff, and I'll probably tie about three flies. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to, I'm going to tie this tubing in on top. One or two wraps, but then what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll it to the back side and I'm going to stretch it and it's going to be tied in on that, on that side and I'm going to bring my thread back up to the front cut this, cut the butt end of that off now we're going to wrap this and you can kind of stretch this stuff so you get a bit of a taper where so you stretch it more at the back and as you come forward you kind of slap off a little bit. George, that has a, it looks like it's almost flat as you're stretching it. Is it flattening it? Yeah, it, flat, it does flatten and then when you relax it, it kind of gets kind of a segmented look to it. Are those touching wraps? Yeah. Best I can see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember what they used to be. But yeah, as you, as, as you relax it, then it gets gets fatter and a little more. Kind of goes round again. A little bit, yeah. It's pretty tough stuff. So I'm gonna end it right about here. You want to get about three three or four good wraps on it so you don't lose it. Okay, now the, the parachute post for this thing is made out of two colors, whatever you can see. I've got yellow and pink I'm going to use. I'm going to take it easy on you guys and just give you one color so you don't have to, have to stack this stuff. But what I'm using, what I like for parachute posts on any parachute is I like this McFly on mm -hmm. for one. 
it's good. It, this, this is, it's, it's like yarn. The other thing I use is this high vis. It's a lot harder to use, and then it, uh, it's not in it's not in strands. It's like a dubbing. Yeah, and it's it's kind of a mess. But when you pull it off, you, you just pull off what you think you need. So you can see, it's kind of a looks like an explosion in the mattress factory, you know. But you kind of kind of deal with it. But it's 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 good material. It's really tough, and they've got some really good colors to it. So so what I've done. I've, I've kind of prepared ahead of time if I'm going to tie a bunch of flies. So I've taken a bit of each and I've kind of stacked it. And what you want, the way I tie the wing, there's two ways to tie this post on. You can tie it kind of a conventional way where, where you would tie it in just at the front and then wrap it and stand it up. What I like to do is I take half the amount of material I think I'm going to use and I'm going to tie it in the middle then I'm going to fold it up and I get less bulk that way at the front of the fly and then I post and I post it up so it's probably going to take you a couple flies to figure out exactly how much material you're, you need to use but uh, I find that's that's the best way to do these things so I want to get I want to be kind of in the middle you can see where I ended this tubing I want to be kind of in between that that point for the for this wing or the post is not actually that long. That's good. That's like a third, third of the shank and in the middle of that third. Yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. And, and you don't, you want enough, the wing to, or this post to be long enough to hang on to, but you don't want it so long that it gets in your way when you try to post it. So I've got about two inches here, so when I fold it up, I'm going to have about, I'm going to have to be about an inch long. So I'm going to make about three good wraps on the middle. And whatever color you want on the outside, you put on the outside, it's however whatever you whatever you want to do. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna fold it up and I'm gonna make a couple wraps two wraps in front, a couple wraps in back, kind of lock that wing in. And then I'm gonna start to post it and go around. So Rainbow you can see power bait. Yeah. <laughs> is there? Can you do it with single color or? Is sure. It yeah, and that's what you're going to do. I just made all yellow. Just uh, you know, you, you whatever you see the best. Oh, okay. You know, if you're up close, it's not bad. But if you're out 30 feet or something, and it's an overcast day. Yeah, I don't see so well anymore. So you know, the brighter the better. So now, when you post this stuff, it's all a matter of of thread tension. So I'm going to go around, mm. and the first few wraps are the hardest to get up off the base of this thing. And I want to post up far enough up the, the wing to where I'm, I can dub it and put like five to six wraps of thread. So the, the tension here, the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to, go, I'm going to go around and then I'm going to pull tight this way. That's where the tension is. And I kind of slack off when I come around. I'm going to pull tight. I don't want to, I don't want to pull back. Everything, everything, all my tension is, is forward. So now each of those turns are touching turns going up. Touching right turns and my thread's flat. I want to make that post as smooth as I can so that my hackle is going to wind nice and flat. So that's probably pretty close to what I need. Now I'm just going to go right back down the post and make it as smooth as I can. If you get a real lumpy post, then it kicks your hackle all over. So the smoother the post is, the, the, the more even your, your hackle is going to end up. So I'll make a couple wraps in front, a couple more in back. And then normally I would take some flex cement and, and glue that thing in. Awesome. Yeah, I've got some nets alright, but this one will be fine. Okay, so this is a fly with many materials. so. I'm going to throw a little flash in here. I'm just going to take one strand of flash of boo, or crystal, crystal flash rather. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to, I'm going to double it, and I'm going to cut it. And then Bob, you're asking this, this is right. where, this is where I'm just going, to, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to take it up under my thread, and get it up on top of my hook shank, and then I'm going to fold it over. 
fun thing about this fly is you're gonna have you got fibers sticking out everywhere to deal with. So then I'm gonna tie that down. Try not to get my wings post in there. Now I'm up at the base of the post. And I'm gonna trim this, I'm gonna trim this crystal flash off about to the middle of the, the shuck. So the wing is CDC and it's light, I, I'm using a light done because I can see it better. You can put a dark done in, but it's a lot harder to see. So you want to try to get a couple of CDC feathers that are about the <coughs> same size. Now are these feathers or puffs? These are puffs. Okay. I'm, using, I'm using puffs. Sometimes, depending on how big they are, you can take up to three for your wing. I'll just try to get by with two here. The more you get, the harder it is to line them up. So I've got two feathers. And the wing is going to be about the same length as the crystal flash was. So I'm going to take, try to get this wing, this post out of my way. So what I usually do is I just come in here like this and get my wing measured. So my wing's about the end of the shuck or right, right in there. I'm going to get it in, I'm going to switch hands. Okay, so I want to get about, I want to get three good turns right here. And what you don't want to do is let go of the wing, because if you let go of the wing, you're going to, you'll end up cutting the wing off of the butt. So I'm going to hold the wing down, cut the, the butts of the CDC out of here. Well, you've got a lot going on with this thing. Oh, yeah. We've just started. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you guys a little challenge here. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of materials here. Okay, and then I'm just going to wind through those butts and lock them down. Okay. I should have glued, should have glued that wing. Okay, so I'm going to use the same dubbing we used for the other one. So. So now my thread is behind the wing, the wing post. So I'm going to put some dubbing on there. And I'm going to kind of dub back on the wing a little bit, so that's going to kind of flatten it out a little bit and hold it. Hold it down. I want to get a little bit under that wing post. Okay. I'm going to use a, use a hackle that's probably about one size smaller than normal. So when I tie the hackle in, I want the hackle, I'm going to do it dull side up. And what that's going to do, it's going to, and rather than the fibers coming down, when I tie that, the fibers are going to come up. And what that's going to do is going to make this fly sit lower in the water. So I'm going to pull some fibers off here. Pull this off here, I'll be doing good. And I like using these saddle feathers because they're nice and long. And see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to, I'm going to get this on with a couple of wraps. And what I want, where I strip the bare stem, I want that to end right at the top of that, of that post. Because what, what I'm going to do is when I start to wrap, I'm going to wrap from the top down. So I want to, my first wrap, I want to be on, on bare stem. I don't want to be with, with hackle fibers, and that will get everything going in the right direction. So if, even if you're a little bit, you got more stem, it's, it's okay. So I'm going to tie that down. Clip it off. Come almost to the eye. <clears throat> now I'm going to dub back up to the to the base of that wing post. Yeah, I'll pay two fifty for the wings. You know, 
I was I was going to do the same thing except I couldn't. They were all out. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah we used yeah. them used them all up, and I couldn't get any. So yeah. okay, I'll just yeah. Yeah, some guy in Sri Actually, Lanka. Idlewild uh, flies. There's a guy in Sri Lanka yeah. making them right now. Some little some little gal. Yeah, that's yeah. knocking out a thousand for a day or something. Six cents each. You know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna. Did he catch a fish and the hook straightens out? No, you know, those guys are they're using pretty good stuff. Yeah, they do. They're, they're using good material. Hey, the, the guys are buying green hooks. Now, did you notice your George in there's a W? Yeah, and my dummy right up against the wing post. <coughs> now you got you got actually got two choices here. You could you could have dubbed up to the eye and you could tie this thing off the, the hackle off of the eye, which I don't like to do. Especially on a small fly, what happens when you try to tie off at the eye, then you get you get these fibers over the eye and you got a size 20 fly and then you go to put your tip tippet through there and there's no hole so it's for me it's easier to tie off the post and then tie off I'll, I'll whip off at the eye so let's see if I can manage this here but so I'm gonna take my hackle and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the top of that my post there Fibers here. And in order to get everything to lay, lay one, one below the other, I like to, with a, ro with a vise that rotates or whatever, I like to be able to turn it and see what I'm, what I'm doing. I want to make sure that each wrap is one below the other on both sides. So I want about five wraps of five wraps of hackle. So as you come around, if you you pull your hackle down, then you then you butt it up against the next the prior wrap. I don't know if you can see that, but if if I don't turn it and I can't see it, then if I cross over, then it throws fibers down. And once you throw once you cross over, you're done. You you've got to unwrap to to keep them keep them straight so it's easier to just to, to get them straight to begin with. So I want to get about five even six wraps on this thing. And you'll be able to tell because when you get down to the bottom if the fibers start to flare out you you can't get any more hackle on it so you, it's time to stop and you get enough. So as I wind that I'm pushing down to get underneath that that last row of, of hackle. So at this point, I'm going to put a hackle plier on this, just to hold it temporarily. Now to tie it off, I have to basically do the same thing. I've got to get my thread underneath all those wraps. I don't want to go through those wraps. So I'm going to bring it down, try to hold this wing down, get down under these fibers, and work it down and get right tight to that post and then here's where I'm going to cross over that hackle stem and that's what's going to lock it in. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to go down under my second wrap I can't see shit here so it's a lot easier at home Anyway, so I've got now I've got two tight wraps on that stem. I'm going to take my third, my third wrap, cross over. And at this point, I'm going to make a wrap around the eye. And at this point, I take one half hitch to make sure I don't lose my hackle. And now I can cut. Now I can cut that that out of there. Okay. Now I'm going to do a wood finish. Just pull a, pull a hackle up out of the way. Do a four turn wood finish and I'm done. And that's not going to come out now. Should should it, I I normally I'll take that flex cement at this point. And I just hold that post and I just put a big drop right, right at the top of that hackle, right in the post and let it soak right in there and it, it'll, 
basically glue that thing together. And then now I'm going to, I just want to cut this thing short. And that's it. And then now I'll just put some head cement on the, on the, eye, on the eye of the hook. So it takes a little practice to, to tie off that way, but you get a much nicer, much nicer fly. If I didn't have that, that CDC in there, it'd be easy. I could, get, I could get in there and see it real well, like I'm just doing a regular done or something. It's easy. Now, I got a question for you. Why not just clip it off and then put the, uh, the um, flex cement on the uh, post that you have left? Oh, it's easier to hold it. I can, I can hold it. As I pull, I pull up on it, and I can, once I cut it, cut it off, then that thing's flared out. Right. When it's long, I, I can grab it, and then I can, I can get right up close to it and soak it right in there, and then cut it off. But what about just putting a drop in on top of that? Oh, you can. Yeah, sure. Yeah, another, another yeah. but I just find it easier because I've still got a handle there. I can, right. I can move it wherever I want, and then I can, I can do it. Yeah, you could do it then. And then, and then I'll take it out and I'll flip it over and I'll just put a little bit of drop at the eye too. Uh, surprisingly, these things hold up pretty well. They f they float good. They float real real low. And it's been very effective. And you can really see that thing with that pink in there. You can pink and the yellow. It shows up really good.